Good morning, afternoon, Linda, on this two days before the tax deadline for corporations. You yeah. already I'm ready. I'm all set. I got my returns done, <laughs> my personal businesses. Um, how about you? Uh, we've always working, always working. Yeah. So hopefully um, the question we've got here is not focused on getting this work done before March 15th, but who knows? Okay, so uh, I want you to go like this. Get your mind reading skills ready. I'm going to read the question. <laughs> it's from ACK Jimmy or Ach Jimmy. <laughs> He's importing data from an expired desktop trial. Yeah. I'm unable to import data into the online version from the, an expired desktop trial. My desktop trial expired, which prompted me to sign up for the online version. I signed up for the online version, which allows for an import of the desktop data. However, I can't get into the trial desktop version to export the data. So okay. that's the question. So there's, we, we have a way to try to kind of motivate to get it back into it, but it does take a bit of, there's some steps involved. It's really, it's basically going in and like uninstalling and then reinstalling it to be able to um, use it again as if it was a brand new fresh trial. Um, but the question, because that is a bit of work, I, the question we would want to ask first is um, the desktop trial expired. Um, immediately that makes me question what data is inside that desktop company file because if it was a very limited amount of time, um, I don't know if maybe you were converting from something else and, and you actually have a whole bunch of accounting data in there, then we just want to make sure it's worth the effort to, to, to go through this process to be able to pull that information out and then take it up to QuickBooks Online. If, if it's only pulling in your transactions, you know, from like a bank feed kind of concept, and that's what's going to get pushed up, um, you know, this process will still work. It'll get you to your end point, but it may be easier to just pull those, the bank downloads directly into QuickBooks Online. Um, so just kind of think of that side of it just in case. And if you've got more questions on it, reach out. We'll be happy to help. So um, what I would recommend is if you've got this type of situation, what you basically can do is you would go in and you need to uninstall QuickBooks from your company, I'm sorry, from your computer, um, as well as then probably clean out the registry. Certain applications nowadays, if you uninstall them and you just try to reinstall it, they're smarter than that. And they will recognize that uh, it's been there once before. So if you clear out the registry, that will make it act as if it was never there before and can help out. So there's a couple steps to doing this. Um, and so let me share my screen here and or let me jump in and show you real quick. So, Part of the process, if I, uh, obviously I'm on a PC here, okay? So first thing I would need to do is go into my settings, uh, which of course, you know, you can right click at your start, go to apps and features, find the program that you would want to uninstall. In this situation, I, we would be pretending it's my 2019 version and then click uninstall. Follow all the prompts that are showing up on there uh, to go through the whole installation, uh, deinstall process. Um, now, from that point, that's not necessarily enough to make it completely go away. Uh, what I would usually recommend is there's a program called C Cleaner. Uh, I think I've got it on this computer. That is great. C Cleaner will help you go through and actually uh, will basically help you clean out your registry of anything that you don't need. So you would come into registry, do a scan for issues. And as it processes, if there are um, file types that are no longer necessary, i.e. you just deinstalled QuickBooks, this would help with that. And that will help kind of reset everything for you. Um, free program, see, literally do a search for it and you'll be able to pull it up. The alternative way to do this is you would end up going into your registry editor. Now, this is a very advanced way to go about this. So if you're not comfortable with computers and you don't know what you're doing here, please do not do this because you can actually really impact your computer in a very harmful way. And um, 
don't send me the bill. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, the way you get to reg the registry editor, again, right clicking on my window, go run and type in reg edit, R E G E D I T. And this will pull up. Um, I have kind of a guide on some of this stuff on our vendor sync website uh, that you can follow, but we'll also put this, the, location, if you will, within the registry of where these details are at. Um, when it first pops up, you're going to see it basically just like this. You're going to go into your current user, down to software, find into it, and then you'll see QuickBooks here. Okay. This QuickBooks, this is the version. If, uh, if we had like multiple versions of QuickBooks, you'd see different numbers. So this is edition 29 on mine. Yours could be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, you get the point. Um, you would have to come into here and you would want to basically take this folder and delete that whole folder. That will make it to where anything that's correlated for the registration of this inside of your, um, your computer would be gone. The third and final thing is going and looking for an Intuit folder uh, this is another trick a lot of software companies will do is if that folder is still there, it recognizes that it's not creating that folder and therefore it's been installed once before. Uh, and that's done by going in, usually it's going to be on your C drive. You would then go to program data, then you would find into it. And again, you would locate the right version that you would be using. So that would be this one. And once you've done the uninstall, the, sh the folder will be there, but nothing will be in it. So you're basically going in and you would delete that and that would finish the process of really doing a hard, fresh reset, nice and clean. Um, this is a process that Intuit technical support showed me a very long time ago when I was having a major issue. So hopefully this can kind of help you get the instance of what you had off of the computer and then from there, you could then reinstall it. Um, if you pay attention to where the company file was saved uh, for the QuickBooks company file, I personally always structure mine where I want them to go. You'd be able to come in and you will find something like this here, where it's that park, you know, this one says Parkway Demo 2, and there's quite a few different pieces, but they all have the same naming. This is your QuickBooks company file. So you can then take that and then reopen that file with the new version of QuickBooks fully installed. Um, and you should be able to open it up no problem. So the only other alternative would be if you've got an older version of QuickBooks, you could very quickly download a newer version. As long as it's not the same year, then you would be able to quickly use that open file with it and then push the update into QuickBooks Online. And then when they open up QuickBooks Desktop, they just have to select the company file to open it. But um, the CC thing would work over doing all those steps because that looked a little scary with taking all those pieces and- Generally, see the, as long as you've done the deinstall first, then you uh, wrapping back around with CCleaner um, usually gets the job done. Mm -hmm. So I would guess, I mean, with a decent computer, this is still going to take you probably 30, 40 minutes because of the uninstall and it's more about the reinstall time. Um, and that's assuming that you, when you downloaded the, the program, it's still sitting in your download, so you can just click and reinstall it. Um, but you're probably talking 30, 40 minutes, roughly like full cycle to get back to this point. Or you could find a friend's computer, download it on theirs and just take a USB <laughs> Put it in a cloud and bring it down. <laughs> well, fast. Out. Like, we don't normally do it this way. Reach out to an accountant if you've got one. They can help you with the process. You can <laughs> easily, as long as we can get that file from you, we could easily take it and push it up for you. It wouldn't take much time to do it um, and provide more answers. So if you're interested in doing it that way or more questions, then definitely um, reach out. Right, Linda? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I would not attempt, well, I'm not as geeky as you when it comes to that stuff. I would not attempt playing around those folders because it's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> I wouldn't want something to stop working because I, de I deleted something I wasn't supposed to. So. Yeah. So hopefully this gave at least some perspective to it and a solution. 
Um, if, like we said, if you've got some other questions, feel free to reach out. We'll do what we can. You can always find us on our uh, Facebook group also, QB Community Live. Um, and as always, here's wishing you a very successful week. Next week. <laughs>